Hello there guys and welcome to another episode of the Ilkhanate campaign here in E4 Mayo and Taxes 2.0 Also known as Let's play E4 Mayo and Taxes 2.0 and also drink a bit until I get the motivation to finish the stupid Royalist France campaign So let's continue Uh yeah We're really just doing the same thing that we have been doing in the entire campaign really oh the caliph and the empire oh, oh, oh just started recording can you maybe chill religious status quo the diet of blah 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 the final vote was 65 for a catholic empire and 69 for a protestant empire and one voting for toleration <laughs> i wish it i wish you would tell me who voted for toleration i want to send them some money seriously also are you not are you guys not fighting about this is that not is that not how this works? Or maybe this uh, maybe this event uh, predates the whole um, fucking the religious wars thing because I know the uh, De Grasha mod, uh, which is a part of the Mayan Taxes mod, it is really 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 old because the guy who made it he died he didn't die but he vanished <laughs> and uh, no one knows how his mod works so uh, that's why the religious stuff in this mod is a bit uh, weird sometimes because. Not even the creators of MNT 2.0 know knows how the religious stuff in the mod works. Grant a diploma of investiture. Malva. See, I was talking about this a bit in the previous episode because my game was bugging out. Like I haven't restarted the game since the last episode, but uh, I was having some nasty crashes when I started the game. So I really hope there's not some fucking bugs. Sure, let's get a. Diploma of Investiture to Malva. Like, are you Christian or something? Do you have any good reason? You're Muslim. You're literally Muslim. Why do you care about the the empire? Ah, this is the the request for the caliph. <sighs> well, okay, I get it then. And also, my drink is really good. But yeah, religious. Blah, blah, blah. Greater nobles demand privileges. No, I will not have unrest. Honestly, that's like, if you demanded like, hey, can I have all your money and your soul? I would be like, yeah, I don't value my soul that much. But fucking unrest, that is unacceptable. Seriously. Can I, can I trade like, can you, can, mm, maybe I can give 100% autonomy in trade for... A little bit of reduction in unrest because seriously what is this like I know this is the um, I mean this this is sort of what I, I I actually like this because it sort of simulates the thing that happened with the Roman Empire and well basically all of all big empires uh, before modern times essentially you reach a point in empire building where holding on to the outer provinces become uh, it becomes more expensive uh, to hold on to the territories than it actually earns you in terms of money. And that's something I'm really feeling here. I'm starting to think more and more I should just give away these eastern territories to a vassal. But who? I know for a fact that the hordes are useless. But we do... No, Kiva is a horde too, I think. Transoxia is a horde. We need, we need, we need custom vassals. That's what I need. But I think they are bugged in MNT, at least in this version. I and also you know, I, I say I think because I honestly don't know, because I you know I don't know. It's simple as that, you know. Um but yeah, I hmm. guess maybe Indian seriously, can we import some Indians to the land? Multan, Transnoxia. Fuck. There, oh, okay, so Kashmir is here. Maybe we make some sort of uber Kashmir, you know? We vassalize Kashmir and we feed him all of the East. Kashmir the Great. But if I'm gonna make a vassal, I want him to be sort of a meme vassal, but this is just some boring ass Muslim bitch. Like, that's not fun. Well, no, they're all Sunnis here, so there, there's no opportunities for derp or bullshittery. I don't know. I guess for now I'll just keep killing the rebels. After all, the more rebels I kill, 
the more alcohol I will consume. And uh, as a result, the more reb rebels that spawn, the closer we get uh, to uh, to finishing the Royalist France campaign. So, I don't know. I, I assume the, the comment section will be a bit divided. Those who really want to see that campaign finished and uh, oh yeah that was right i was going to rant about the annoyances about the um about the royalist france campaign i mean i, I guess i'll do the rant now although i th i'll try and keep it short basically there's been some news on the victoria 2 front uh there's been a new sub mod created which doesn't add much in itself but the important thing is it incorporates a bunch of stuff from a bunch of cool sub mods like the africa mod the france mod and well, I think there's more, but it also adds some cool stuff on its own, but it incorporates fucking France mod. A mod that has been out of date for fucking ever. To the point where I was like, fuck it, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna play a France campaign without France mod. We're good. And then BAM France mod is updated. Well France mod is not updated, but it's incorporated into another sub mod. I think it's HFM or something like that. And in that mod, you can do all the things that my comment section has been ranting about me to want, or that my comment section has been wanting me to do forever. Like you can take back the Louisiana colony, you can take back Canada, you can get cores on fucking Algiers, and you can expand like the amount of French people. I mean, the France mod is the golden thing for anyone who wants to play France. But damn it, I started my campaign like a month before it came out, so now I am stuck. Uh, in a war against the South German Federation or some bullshit and I'm honestly sick of the campaign um, and I wanted to end but uh, I don't have the motivation but who knows maybe I'll have it soon yeah I mean I've said that a billion times at this point so I don't think I need to Alwa why would pilgrims come from Alwa there are no Christians here I mean, I'm Muslim, and I assume Malwa is Muslim too, or Alva, or, or your mom. I don't know. Same thing. I don't know. let them on their way. I'm not gonna read. I'm not gonna read. Oh, what's up? We have gained conquests. Why? They hold provinces we have claims on. <gasps> not provinces we have claims on. But no, seriously, why do we have claims on Turkey? Honestly, that's a good question. Why do we have claims on this shit? This is a permanent claim? <laughs> is it though? But why? So why do we have... Okay, no, I think this one was planned. But still. Why, exactly? Is this a bug or is this an event? Tell me in the comment section. Also, I love how these, these boats were completely pointless. But yeah, uh, we also need to talk about ideas. Although I don't think we need to talk that much because I'm pretty confident I had a plan for this. We need administrative. Even if I don't actually want to take administrative, we need expansion because expansion is the only thing that can grant us glorious, good-looking borders. And when you when you when you think about different you know values and different good things that you can do for the government and the state and the people in your state, what is most important? Actual welfare that would be gained from like economic ideas, you know, buildings for the people. Is that important? No. What is important is good borders. And we need colonists in order to get good borders. We can colonize these dipshit provinces. So, uh, yeah. Man, I think I just, I, I think I just set a new world record in beating dead horses. Uh, let's get rid of, actually, let's, I don't know. Everyone is revolting. I, I think... Is it safe to just... Like, how bad is the economy if I just keep the... Nah, 20. That's fine. Is that fine? It's not fine, is it? No. But it is. It is what it is. At least it's cheap to reduce inflation. I don't even know why we have so much inflation. Seriously, why do we have so much inflation? It changes by 0 0.02 every year why though but no seriously why 
The Diakabidjabu. Oh man, look at this. Totally, totally worth having this event interrupting my gameplay. <laughs> I'm getting so salty right now. <laughs> I'm not actually no. I'm not getting salty. I'm just being. I'm just being cynical. That's not the right word. I, actually, you know what I think? I think I'm just getting hot. Not as in I'm getting, uh, you know, good looking. I'm just getting, I'm just being warm. But I think I've had enough uh, drink at this point to open the window. So I'll be back. I mean, why do I, why do I say I will, I'll be back? It, it's, it's literally just going to be the same type of edit I do a billion times in these videos. All right, guys, back, back from opening my window. Honestly, it didn't make that much of a difference because it's fucking warm outside as well. I mentioned in, in the, I mentioned it in the previous episode. It's the one week of the year where it's actually warm in Norway, uh, except for that one summer, two years ago, I think, or maybe three, I forget, where it was like actually warm all of the summer. And when I say summer, I mean like two months because you know. It's fucking Norway. It's I mean, there's a reason why the Vikings were willing to literally sail across oceans and just do everything in their power to get away from this hellhole. But then we discovered oil, and we were like, eh, actually, I think we'll stay. <laughs> yeah, I think we're fine. So... No, but seriously, wh why... I mean, I know there's, I know there's a lot of people here, but... Can you maybe chill? literally right by my capital why are you why are you revolting like this why you have to be mad it's only game it's only a dead meme but no seriously this is uh, man I was trying to play this game in order to relax so that I what oh well I guess at least this is good though Printing industry, that's a uh, invention, right? So at least that means that my game is not bugging out completely. Yeah, casual literacy. Although that also does mean that we are now <laughs> a lot of text behind. Honestly, it surprises me how well we have been able to keep up in technology when you consider the fact that we are now 60% penalty. But we'll get there, I'm sure. We have... What? Uh, okay, so casual literacy is yeah, that's just in Italy. What's the requirements for? Oh, <gasps> yes. Uh, no, separatism is not that big of a deal actually. It's the fucking, it's the the random events that are like, hey man, how about like a billion revolt risk in all your nation? Thanks. I might just click the autonomy option next time actually, just to see if that will do things better. Because once again, killing rebels is not actually annoying. Well, I mean, it's not actually difficult. It's just a pain in the fucking ass. It's the same thing about the France campaign, right? It's not actually difficult, it's just so fucking annoying. But then again, you're not here to watch me and uh, complain about stuff. You're here to watch me play, skillfully. Oh man, get that skill going. But no, seriously. I wanna click the... I wanna click the button. I wanna click, like, I, w I want the state to be me. It's so cheap to not click it though. Like this decision makes no sense. Like this is not a Do I do I click it just for the role play? I guess not. <sighs> I'm sorry guys. What was I talking about? Uh, boundary disputes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We what now? The Sultan is dead? Can you can you not? Anyone else missed the uh, the Hungary campaign? I missed the Hungary campaign, man. How chill was that? Well, the the Turks did end up killing us, but before that, man, what a campaign that was. I guess I've learned my lesson. Uh, play a s relatively small nation like Hungary and don't blob because it's annoying as fuck. And also, don't play Hungary because you get fucked by the Turks. Don't worry though, I'll, I I promise this. I promise this with a 95% certainty. I will do another Hungary campaign in MNT 2.0. Um, but seriously, now... Oh my f 
fucking god, where's my alcohol? Ah, okay, I'm ready to fight rebels. Mm. Okay. Oh, what's that? I'm pointing at the screen right now. 26 revolt risk. Can you maybe not do that? Can we maybe chill? You know what? If this maybe maybe I should just go play City Skylines instead. No one, no one compl like you get a meteorite from time to time. You know, meteorite burn down your nation. But you know, fucking district dies. Who cares? You can rebuild. What? Deal with the devils, dude. I have manpower. I have money. I don't, can you? Mm, can we? I I want. I want patience. Can you trade me some fucking patience so I can deal with these rebels? Also, I I, I know I sound super salty, but I, I'm really just joking around. Like, seriously. Um, well, I am, I am joking and I am being serious. This is getting a bit old. Um, but uh, but I, I don't know what to do with it. Don't know what to do with it. Yasite? I don't even know who you are. Yeah, sites? Yeah, sure, when I click the flag, what I want to do is I want to go to my fucking Ilkanate screen. I don't want to know where they are or anything. That's not important. Uzbeks, yeah, well, I know where they are. Peasants, Kazakhs, can we... I'm gonna, I'm gonna go see how long this episode is. Alright, checked it. I, uh, I need to record for three more. Three more minutes before I can end this and go play City Skylines. <laughs> you know what? I don't want to deal with this. This is on honestly, this is not my fucking. I don't even. I don't need. Ah, fucking hell, man! What is this shit? No, no, but seriously, I, I, I'm not here to. No, 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 no. This too much, too much. I can't, can't, can't. No. Succession crisis. Eee, succession crisis. Eee, fuck your real connect campaign. Eee, eee. No, but seriously, um, like I, 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 I record for fun, right? Like I do because the fucking uh, you know the uh, the the whole YouTube party is over thing. I lost like half the income I make from this uh, YouTube channel, and that was not a lot to begin with. So I make like ten, ten dollars approximately from the fucking uh, all the videos I put out in a month and like all the income I get that's not a lot of fucking money that's 70 kroner no, that's, that's less than 70 kroner not only that all the money I ever made it's it sits on this random PayPal con uh, uh, not Conto that's Norwegian uh, account it's it's on this random PayPal account that I never like I never actually noticed that the money like I like <laughs> you know what story time uh, all the money I have ever made from YouTube since like um, 2011 sits on this random PayPal account and uh, like I, I, I realized that about a year ago so at, at this point I'm really just waiting for like the optimal sort of dollar to Norwegian kroner conversion rate and then I'll get some cash but it's not even that fucking much, you know, because uh, you know those videos that people actually watch, you know, the stupid Skyrim video that has more, you know, the, the Skyrim vampire tutorial that has more fucking views than every other video I've ever made combined. Well, except for the fucking Skyrim tutorial part two, because, you know, mm, so good. Seriously, you know what? I, at some point, I'll I'll make a, um, I should make like a weird comments I get on the Skyrim tutorial in 2017 like people are like oh Greenforce uh, can like with the new Dawnguard expansion 
Does this uh, vampire uh, tutorial work in uh, the same way? I'm like, dude, this fucking video was made in 2011. Is it not faster to Google on Google to find the answer rather than commenting some misspelled weird shit on my video? No, but seriously, I'm not actually complaining. Hey, Malik! Ha! <laughs> Oh man, seriously, go to Malik's stupid channel and uh, and tell him to buy Battlegrounds. He's renaming his channel. I want to do that. Maybe I shouldn't show this in the video. I think he doesn't want this to show. Thoughts? Uh, yeah, I I, uh, I think I'll stop recording here. Well, not stop recording. Maybe. The fuck did I drink actually? I don't know. I'll uh, I'll go to talk to Paradox Ninja, and I expect you guys to do the same. Um, to convince him to buy fucking uh, player unknowns battlegrounds that I can play with him, or I don't know. Maybe maybe if I uh, maybe if I drink enough, I'll be brave enough to ask Raven to do a uh, multiplayer campaign with me. Although I have I have like severe social phobia, so. I don't know if that will ever happen, but I've been watching this like um, I've been watching his Bavaria campaign. Like I'm, I'm, I'm in the middle of episode two of his Bavaria campaign, and it's really funny because he's talking about how he has tried to record his Bavaria campaign on. Like Raben is another YouTuber, by the way. Uh, it's funny because he's he's talking about how he has tried to record um, like his Bavaria campaign like two or three times before. And I feel like every commenter will be like, oh, what's the big deal? And I'm sitting here as a fellow YouTuber being like, fuck, man, I feel your fucking pain. Like, th 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 there's nothing worse than recording a fucking Let's Play and then realizing that it's way too shit to ever put on YouTube. I've told you guys before about the, the Japan campaign that never entered YouTube. The Victoria 2 Japan uh, Shogunate campaign. It never, never entered up. Fuck, I can even reveal it right now because I've been drinking. I, I actually, I have actually made a second uh, Yan Mine campaign in Victoria 2 with the, with the new update. Like, it's so crazy as well because one of the event pictures in the Christmas update a while ago uh, for, you know, the, the beta patch, the, well, it's actually official now, the 3.04 uh, update for uh, Victoria 2. Like the event pictures for the Yan Mayan uh, decision where you get to become polar bears and shit, they use the same fucking polar bear as I use in my profile picture on YouTube. And I was gonna make a new campaign, but then I, I just failed and uh, so sad. Man, I've, I've had a bunch of other campaigns as well where you start there and then you realize after it fucked up that you, oh man, I can never post this to YouTube. You know what? I'm just ranting at this point. I should go talk to Paradox, uh, Paradox Ninja. Well, he's talking about changing his name, so who knows. But uh, yeah, this needs to end right now. I'll go play some City Skylines instead. Thanks so much for watching this episode, and until next time, <laughs> bye.